Hall, first published in 2011. This is a really good book about the Kent Home Guard, written by its commanding officer. It's called The Real Dad's Army, The War Diaries of Colonel Rodney Foster. Really good book. The blurb inside it goes. Dad's Army, the iconic comedy series, is as well known today as it was 40 years ago. But the reality of life in the Home Guard was often very different. Here for the first time is the full inside story of the Home Guard, the ragtag volunteer army that defended the coast of Britain from German invasion during the Second World War. Colonel Rodney Foster joined the Home Guard in 1940 and kept a diary every day, a highly illegal act at the time, and in it meticulously chronicled his service in the real Dad's army. Living directly beneath the Battle of Britain on the Kent coast, Foster commanded a company of men in the face of constant aerial bombardment and the ever-present threat of death from above. Writing from the village hall, abandoned barns, churches and makeshift offices messes, he records with a unique wit and wisdom the everyday details of family life during the war, the domestic routine dogged by air raid warnings, the antics of soldiers stationed nearby to taking every chance to improve their lot, the quiet strength of a small community faced with grace and great adversity. In his warm and descriptive account of wartime Britain, illustrated with his own watercolours, Rodney Foster's humanity and care shine through, proud testament to the spirit that defied the Nazis and won the war. And about the man himself, Rodney Foster was born in India in 1882 and spent his career with the Indian Army. In his retirement, he went with his wife and daughter to live in Saltwood near Hyde on the Kent coastline. Here in 1940, he enrolled in the Home Guard and kept a daily record of the war. He died in 1962. So it's about a typical home guard on the coast of Kent. It's written in diary format, but it's illustrated with some pages of watercolours, which are now his wartime accounts and his watercolours he donated to Hyde Council and currently, as of 2011, resides in the East Kent Archive. So it's, it's illustrated with pictures from his watercolours from the East Kent Archive. Really, really good book. We'll have a look at kind of the layout, the format of it and some of the illustrations. But it is a really good book to find. It's, it's life in the home guard, not as exciting as you think it is. But uh, written by a guy who was in it, really good read. So, The Real Dad's Army. The War Diaries of Colonel Rodney Foster. And we'll have a look at his illustrations. This, Hyde 1939-45, this is the frontispiece of Rodney's wartime accounts which he donated to Hyde Council. And that is his own watercolours. This is... What you witnessed. Mobile gun, the home guard, barrage balloons, parachutes, coast defence artillery, bombing attack on a convoy, v bone rocket. This is his illustration of how he dived for cover when a Messerschmitt skimmed overhead, pursued by a British fighter, Monday 2nd of September 1940. This is his illustration of an aerial battle over Hawkinge. As British planes and air air fire disrupt a German bombing, bombing raid, Thursday 5th December 1940. This is a German bombing raid on Tanner's Hill, Hythe, 1941. Battle practice near Etchin Hill. That's a crashed Dornia in the woods behind Beechborough. All the crew were killed, but it was rumoured that the pilot was alive and was polished off by someone. This is a German bomber flies, flies over Hyde on Sunday 10th May 1942. A few minutes later, Tracy's snack bar was destroyed in the raid and his home guard platoon dug out survivors. Coastal artillery, 6 inch guns manned by the home guard. This is intensive AA gunfire from batteries in Romney Marsh during a German night raid. As depicted by Rodney from his vantage point above Hyde. And then mobile Bren guns score a hit over high as Prospect Road takes a battery. Spitfires blow up V1 rockets as they approach the Hythe coastline. 
and then in it, there's genetic photographs of the period. Spitfire tipping the edge of a V1 flying bomb to disrupt his autopilot. Canadians on a V1. So it is a really, really good book. Published 2011, The Real Dad's Army. The War Diaries of Colonel Rodney Foster. And as you can see, it's written in... It's translated from his diary. So it's... It's a day-by-day -day account. An interesting account of the atomic bomb. Wednesday the 8th of August. The atomic bomb, the chief, su the chief subject of discussion. Scientists make feeble suggestions that the discovery can be turned to use for the good of mankind. Everyone else, except the ignorant, condemns its use. The skunk Stalin has come in just in time to rob China of Manchuria. Heavy rain at 7pm. So as you can see, it wasn't all exciting. Monday the 6th of August. Bank holiday. Heavy rain at 3.30pm and 6.30pm. Most people shocked at the atomic bomb. Stalin will be given the formula and then what? So it's all translated directly from his diary. Really, really good read. The Real Dad's Army, The War Diaries of Colonel Rodney Foster.